what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and welcome to the last of the player packs that we're going to be taking a look at so we've already covered covered barca Bayern, manchester united inter and arsenal and now we're taking a look finally at ac milan so i've been torn on these packs lads genuinely i don't know if any of these are really worth it if you've been playing the game for a while but there are about three or four players in each pack as you can see from the graphic here that are kind of worth getting, right? If you've got a lot of coins and you're saying, look, I just want to guarantee myself three to four endgame level players here for the next six months that I don't need to be worrying about that can just adapt to pretty much any gameplay changes. You're going to be able to have Rafael Leao. You're going to have a brilliant version of Tiao. And you're also going to have Hernandez. I mean, two center back or a center back, a left back, a center forward and a left winger. And you can also play Leao through the middle. You've got a couple of spare parts there as well. Uh, Loftus Cheek, I would say, is probably worth a good look at as well. He's actually not a bad option. We'll get into that in a second. But yeah, you're going to have three to four players that are not worth it. And the rest kind of like whether or not you have a really strong side or not, right? So yeah, taking a look at Rafael Liao, he's probably the big one here. His form is in, inconsistent and he's got low type possession, which is a bit of a killer on this card compared to previous editions. But this Rafael Liao is a monster as well. Super sub is uh, is game changing for him because you can bring him on. You know, he's going to be nearly at 100 overall player that you can bring on. That's just rapid. That can just run and gun and score you lots of goals. I would play him through the center and we'll take a look at that build here. That is probably the build I would go through through the center with him. 13 into shooting, 10 into dexterity, 5 into dribbling, 2 into lower body. If you want to pause that and have that build, you can. For a center forward or a run and gun, Romario, Michael Owen, Samuel Eto'o type player, Mbappe type player. If you want to have a bit of a different experience with your Rafael Leao, I would probably peel back a bit on the shooting. Um, 70, like 83 finishing should be enough. That'll boost up to 85 when you have the manager boost, okay? And then I would also probably change his dexterity just a little fraction as well. Um, and I'd go the same. I'd go 83, 85 balance as well. Physical contact, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. But where I would actually boost him up would be dribbling if you are playing him out wide. And I'd also put a little bit onto physical contact. That would be a wing-based build. You have the 95 dribbling, the tight possession, and the balance are very, very nice. And you still have the pace and the power, right? We also have Hernandez. This is a very defensive build of Hernandez. As I said before in the last videos that I've done for these, all of these builds that you're seeing here are basically for the manager. So they're, they're, they're with the manager. Now, obviously, Paoli is not going to be a manager that really adds anything here. But when you look at it, he's going to be given a plus one increase to the tackling stat. So when you have the likes of Hernandez here, you can actually get that to an 85 with this build which is going to make a bit of a difference to this card because you're going to have all his defensive stats either at the low 80s or the mid 80s, which is going to be very, very nice. On top of that, you're going to have really nice dribbling for a left back. You're going to have really good stamina and you're going to have 90 speed and acceleration. So it's a very, very, very uh, good card. We've also got Mignan, 91 reflexes, 83 jump. He's quite tall, so you don't need to worry too much about that. 10 4 10 is the build we've gone for there. I'm not going to spend that much time on him. We're also not going to spend too much time on this guy either. Um, he's a pretty decent 88 acceleration. Stamina is quite good. But again, these uh, center midfielders that are down as box to box without any defensive capabilities are a dime a dozen. They're a dime a dozen, lads, including this guy as well. You know, they're very, very similar cards. You have here Krunic, um, he's Bosnian, I think. Uh, I think he's Bosnian and Herzegovina, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're very similar cards. When you have a look at Loftus Cheek, he kind of offers you something a little bit different because you are going to be getting dribbling, tight possession, low pass all into the 90 zone, which is nice for a player that's this tall and this strong. Lack of player skills does kill this card. And that's why I think these packs are a little bit disappointing. They're not the best versions of the players that they've ever released and they are 1500 coins. Next up, we have a beast at the back as well. No pace, no mobility, no versatility but just an absolute monster in defense. I mean, try him out if you do buy the pack. You won't be disappointed with a 6 and 15 build there into aerial strength and defending. And then we also do have Calabria as well. This guy is pretty decent. He's kind of like um, the rest of the left or right backs that you get. He is attacking base. He's very fast. He's kind of like Davies from the Bayern München pack. Uh, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. They'll go to 90. Defensively, he's quite sound as well. So not a bad investment either. Pulisic is actually very surprising. His stats are insane. Ball control, dribbling, and tight possession. That's going to be boosted by a 13 
uh, stat upgrade into that. They're all going to be into 90 zone. He's also going to have 80 finishing. He's also going to have speed and acceleration around 90 mark as well with balance is insane. Brilliant left winger. He's arguably better than Leao as a left winger if you're just looking for pure dribble centric moves and not pace and power. Um, we've also got this guy as well who is probably the pick of the players that I would say if you want to play with something a little different. He's going to have his defensive stats all into the 90 plus zone. Tackle is going to be 97, which is insane. But he's also going to have speed and acceleration, jump and physical contact with header 86 and blocker interception, area superiority and man marking. You give this guy heading, you give this guy aerial superiority or acrobatic clearance, it will be nice as well as man marking is there, is lovely. Slide tackle would be nice on this card as well. So he's a very, very decent option. Um, we also have Giroud. Listen, we've just maxed out Giroud's aerial strength with 11 into that, 8 into shoot, 9 into dexterity and 4 into dribbling. That's going to give you 90 plus on six or five really key stats there uh which is very very decent if you're looking for a, a target man but you have to play a target man if you're using it you have to play that style and we've already covered the rest of them Leao is kind of an interesting one if you want to go i would say through the middle he is a very very good player to have the finishing isn't as hot as you would probably want it to be it's definitely one of the weaker versions of Leao that they've um, brought out but if you are a newcomer he could be a game changer for you so let me know what you guys think, lads. Obviously, you've got the booster there as well, but for 1,500 coins, man, I think these player packs and these club packs, I mean, I would nearly prefer them to be 2,000 coins and have like five endgame level players, like big time level players. Like, I'll just give you an example here, look. Like, this is what I'm talking about with like kind of endgame players. This is big time Rashford, right? This, this is not in the packs. This is not in the Manchester United pack, right? But this is big time Rashford here where you have a 97 overall acceleration you've got 88 speed they're all going to get the boost but you've on top of that you've got the dribbling you've got the finishing you've got everything that you could want whereas the Rashford that's in this pack here even when you train him up he just doesn't have enough levels to go up he doesn't have enough that's going to excel when you are playing him like yes he's a still a fantastic card but when you compare him to some of the other cards that have come out and that's probably the problem with a lot of these club packs you know you can you can kind of apply that to any of the club packs if you had better versions of these cards before, they seem to be releasing lesser, more power, less powerful versions of the cards. That could be because of new modes coming where they're going to try and balance the game a little bit to make the epics really, really stand out. Um, but let's see, because at the moment, it is very, very, very easy to train up standard players to be very similar to these. Trust me when I say it, lads, there is no difference between, a, between somebody that has got 85 pace and like 88 pace unless you're getting that boost into the 90 zone but if you've got a player that's got 85 acceleration and a player that's got 89 acceleration you're the, the changes are so minuscule that it's not even worth talking about right so that is it for me i will talk to you guys later let me know if you've bought any of the club packs or if you just stayed away from it and we'll see you soon